This question is an important question. This kind of question will come in your exam for sure. Find the ratio. As soon as they say find the ratio, you know that you have to do k is to one. Already we have discussed this thing in the last class. So the two points are given: one comma minus five and minus four comma five. Let me just uh, yeah, just tell me the two coordinates. Okay, later on when I draw the diagram. 1 comma minus 5 and minus 4 comma 5 is divided by x axis. What does it mean? Uh, 1 minus comma minus 5. So a b can let me x let me just draw the coordinate plane. Yeah. Okay. 1 comma minus 5. This is 1 comma minus 5. Point would be somewhere here. What was the other point? This is point A. What was minus the other point? Four, minus four, comma five. Minus four will be here, and comma five would be somewhere. Yes or no? Yes. Yes. So this is point B. So can you see just by drawing roughly, I'm able to see that uh, this point is passing through x-axis. So they are asking. Yes. Tell me this coordinate. But if you know some basics, any point on x-axis is of which, uh, what is the coordinate of x-axis? X, comma, x, 0. Very good. Any point on x-axis is x, comma, 0. Similarly, for y-axis, it is 0, comma, y. We know this thing, okay? This thing should be a no-brainer. This is a very important concept. We have learned this thing in class 8th eight, uh, eight also, ninth also. Now we are doing it again in 10th. Anyway, moving ahead. So this coordinate we have got as uh, x, comma, 0. Okay. Now they are asking us to find out the ratio. Now, let me just draw this line like this. Yeah, now it is done. So this is point A, this is point B. Point A is one comma minus five, and point B is minus four comma five. And there is some point somewhere in the middle which is let's say point p which is x comma zero and what is the ratio let the ratio be m is to k is to one okay yeah, yeah. when we are finding out the ratio yes. you should when always take k is to one okay. so we will write k is to one I can do it using m is to n also, but I don't want to waste time right now. Now we'll multiply this thing by this, this thing by this. Now, if you observe very, very carefully over here, over here, over here. Now I have one, I have minus four, I have x and I have k. So there are two variables in this, if I go for x, why should I go for x? I will go for y. Y. Okay. So I will write over here solving for y. So y value is what? Zero. Yes or no? Yes. Y value is zero. So one multiplied by minus five plus K multiplied by five. Clear? Yes. One multiplied by minus five K multiplied by five. And what will be the denominator? Sum of the Two. ratio K plus no, one. No, no, no. 
So this denominator will go and multiply by this thing. So zero into anything zero. is zero. So on the top, I will get minus five plus five. K. Plus five. So I'll shift this thing to the other side. So it will be five equals to five K. We we'll shift this thing to the other side. So five upon five equals to K. So K value is one. one. So what was the ratio? Ratio was one is two. K is to one, one is two. which will become one is, one is to one. Is to one. This is my answer. Okay. Is your answer correct, Kano? No, I did not do this. Okay. I hope now it is clear how to do it. Yeah, yeah. This was which question? Question number five, I guess. Yeah, question yes. number five. So we are done with question number five. Please take a note of this thing.